At the end of Bernie Sanders' appearance on Joe Rogan's podcast, Joe Rogan asked what was seemingly a half-serious question about UFOs and whether or not Bernie Sanders would release that information and declassify whatever information that the U.S. government has about UFOs. And Bernie Sanders gave what was obviously a joking answer. He said, you know, if I do learn anything, you'll be the first to know. And, of course, predictably, the media wasted no time in trying to frame Bernie Sanders as a kook and a conspiracy theorist. And if you actually watch the clip, it's obvious that Bernie Sanders probably doesn't think there are little green men at Area 51. Although we'll find out on September 20th. But I mean, I think it was obvious that this wasn't meant to be taken seriously, right? It was a lighthearted answer um, to a half serious question. But regardless, since he's an evil socialist and Fox News had an opportunity to frame him as crazy Bernie because that narrative would help Donald Trump, they took that opportunity up. Although the problem is that when they talked about this segment, one of their own panelists is as kooky as they were trying to portray Bernie as because one of their panelists was a little bit, you know, open to the idea that maybe there are, in fact, aliens at Area 51 or aliens that have visited us. And when you find out who this panelist is, it's going to make the story that much more sweet. Time now for our 2020 roundup. First up, if you thought Bernie was a little off his rocker before, wait until you hear this. Sanders is promising to reveal information about aliens if he wins the White House. Watch. If you got into the office and you found out something about aliens, if you found out something about UFOs, would you let us know? Well, I'll tell you, my wife would demand that I let you know. <laughs> is your wife a UFO nut? <laughs> no, she's not a UFO nut. It's just, Bernie, what is going on? Do you have any access to the records? And you don't have any access? I don't. Honestly, no? I don't know. Okay. You, you let us know, though? All right. I'll be on the show. We'll announce it on the show. How's Please. that? So, Dana, he's apparently smoking, right? You see him laughing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know because I've never smoked it, and I don't know what it's like, but... You only do I the edibles, say, right? <laughs> I would say that this seems like bribery. Yeah, it's just so the gummy he's bears. He's trying to bribe for votes, right? Because people want this want UFO information so badly. He's like, I'll do it, and then he probably won't. Because the CIA will stop. There are UFOs that are living in Bernie's hair. They're really, really microscopic. By the way, every every candidate does do this. They say this. But then once they see the files, their brains are erased. No, they erase it so they don't have any memory of it. You know, know, the Defense Department used to have a 22, I think it was a $22 million program that tracked it. It was cut out during a sequester. But I would be interested in knowing if there's some other people here. I don't believe it, Dan. I believe Listen, it. <laughs> you remember the Waco Ranch, the bushes? Yeah. If the moon wasn't out at night, it was pretty black. There was no moonlight coming down. That sky could get pretty black. And you see some crazy stuff at night. You're like, what is that thing out there? But yeah, Greg's right. Everyone says they're going to give us the big UFO file. This thing doesn't know UFO file. They, they, yeah, they, also, no, I don't know that our government knows. I don't, listen, the government is a, Father Bob Sirico, the acting institute, had the greatest line ever one day. He said, it's not the government's too big, it's too stupid. Mm. They can't keep a secret. You think yeah. there's a, I'm not suggesting there may be UFOs or may not be. I'm just telling you, you think the government's keeping the secret? How do you two not know? You guarded, how many presidents? You work for a people, president? People, when I got out of the Secret Service, me. people swore to me, you saw the real Zabruder film. You know who killed Jeff. That, that's the film, wow. man. I'm not lying to you. I've left. But, you were in the White House. But, but earlier you know, this year, the, the Air Force, the Navy report is seeing something uh, right alongside No, it was a them. fly. No, it wasn't real. <laughs> that's what and they want American you to think, Dana. Airline and, and also another unit saw something over Arizona. So there's something out there. We just don't know. I, I think Bernie, is. though, is out there enough that if there was a UFO file and God forbid he, he was elected could be a space alien. He, I don't think people would <laughs> believe him. I anymore. will show you the file. Right. You could do that. You like that? Yeah, I, that's 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 that. I love that so much because the question was posed, is Bernie Sanders off his rocker? And then there's a couple of jokes thrown in. Everyone is laughing at Bernie Sanders. And then Donna Brazil very seriously chimes in and says, I would be interested in knowing if there are uh, some people here. <laughs> Well, that didn't work out too well. You're trying to portray Bernie Sanders as a kook for ostensibly believing that aliens have visit- visited us and maybe they're at Area 51, and then your own panelist um, also believes in that. <laughs> uh, now, towards the end, they said, you know, since Bernie Sanders is out there, um, even if there was something, even if he disclosed that, 
from the public, people still wouldn't believe him because he's so crazy. Really? You don't think that they would believe Bernie Sanders? Most people believe in God, so you don't think they would believe that aliens visited us? Really? Really? Come on. Come on. Now, for the record, um, do I believe that aliens have visited us? Because I have to address this since I'm talking about this. Um, no. I think that it's very likely that there are aliens that exist somewhere in the universe because it's just so vast that how could there not, you know, be aliens? But have they visited us? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's enough evidence to determine that. And sure, you know, there's these testimonies from... Um, military pilots and whatnot, but just because they see something that is indescribable, that's odd, that's unidentified, that doesn't necessarily mean that the conclusion is that it's aliens. No. My standard for evidence is incredibly high, and let me tell you this, I absolutely want to believe that aliens have visited us because I absolutely love this conspiracy theory. When I was younger, I would watch all these documentaries of people who claimed that they were abducted, and I didn't believe it, but I still found it fascinating. I love that type of sci-fi. I mean, I literally have a UFO tattooed on my arm. It's on my body. That's how much I love this type of shit. I love UFO stuff and alien, you know, um, stories and whatnot, but just because I love it doesn't mean that it's true. I want to believe. I want to believe in a lot of things. I want to believe that I'm a superhero who can fly. Uh, doesn't mean that it's true, and I know that that's dismissive, and I will piss off people, um, but, you know, that's just, uh, my take. Although, now that I'm talking about this, I realize that it's probably not a good idea to get this type of thing tattooed on my body permanently because I'm just gonna attract people who will start sharing their stories with me about how they were abducted and probed by aliens, but you know what? You live with each life decision. So, <laughs> circling back, we took that long tangent, but let's bring it back to Fox News. Um, that didn't go too well for them, and I thought it was hilarious, and really, the media's attempt to portray Bernie Sanders as a kook, it's so irritating, and look, a lot of these articles about Bernie Sanders with, like, the funny alien picture in him, I get it, like, it's all lighthearted, it's in good fun, but it's also a problem that there is genuinely, like, this real legitimate concerted effort to portray Bernie Sanders as a kook. Bernie Sanders is called Crazy Bernie by Donald Trump, you know what I mean? So, um... It, we just have to push back when we see it, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't think Bernie thinks that aliens exist. He's not some kooky conspiracy theorist, but, um, yeah, I'll leave that there. I'm glad that down to Brazil kind of swooped in to save Bernie there, because <laughs> you can't really say someone's crazy if someone on your own panel who is hired by Fox News believes the same thing that you asserted is crazy. Too bad. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.